One of the main things that a person uh, has to understand when it comes to Pesach is that you cannot prepare for Pesach a couple of days before Pesach. Pesach really requires a very long preparation, a spiritual preparation, a, a, a material preparation. But there are certain things that a person needs to know that are important, but they're not priority. Meaning, a lot of people, the way that they think of Pesach is they think of the food. Aside from the matzah, who's going to eat this, who's going to sit where. And in reality, the meal uh, of Pesach, although it's important, it's, it's good for it to be delicious, it's good for it to be uh, to have all different types of varieties and so on, but it's not the number one priority in Pesach. The priority in Pesach is not the food. Okay, the priority in Pesach is actually quite different. Uh, in fact, the Gemara um, Masechet Pesachim, page 115b, says that if somebody swallowed matzah, he fulfilled the obligation, meaning he just swallowed it without chewing. He still fulfilled the obligation. But if he swallowed the marol, the bitter herbs, he did not fulfill the obligation. He did not fulfill the obligation. The Rambam, Paskin, Ziz, Talacha, that if somebody swallowed the matzah without chewing, he still fulfilled the, fulfilled the mitzvah. But if he uh, did not uh, chew the, the bitter herbs, he uh, did not fulfill the mitzvah. And the Shulchan Ruch elaborates and also Paskin, Ziz, Talacha, in Or Chaim. And he uh, says, why is this the case? Because the whole point of the uh, role is to signify specific things. Where the uh, role is, of course, to remind us of the difficulties that uh, we endured when we were uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Egypt. It's one of the things we have to remember. That's one of the main things that highlights it is actually the marom, the bitter herbs. And, the, uh, and that's uh, one of the most uh, critical parts to discuss, to think about uh, during Pesach, during the Sedel, is actually the, the bitterness of our suffering. If you don't chew the bitter herbs, you don't taste the bitterness. And therefore, you're missing, you're missing the key part of the mitzvah, which is to actually see yourself as if, as if you are in, uh, living through the difficulty right now. Many people can perhaps uh, feel the freedom to a certain extent, but very few realize that one of the priorities uh, that you have during the Sedel is actually to uh, feel the agony that uh, we were in in order to truly feel the, uh, the salvation. The point is, is to make the whole thing as alive as possible, as, as, as real as possible, to truly feel, feel the transition and not just focus on when do we eat.